Hello, my name is Matthew Den Hertog. Today I will be talking about the Huizhen Azide Alkyne Cycloaddition Reaction. Who discovered it? Rolf Huizhen, who was a German chemist, discovered it. In 1960, he introduced the concept of a 1 3 dipolar cycloaddition during one of his lectures at the university that he taught at. What is it? It is a 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition between an azide and an alkyne to give a 1,2,3 triazole. A 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition is a chemical reaction between a 1,3 dipole and a dipolar file to form a five-membered ring. However, the classical me mechanism requires a lot of time at high temperatures to ensure and will produce mixes of regioisomers. So a catalyzed version is used to greatly speed up the process. This is the mechanism for the classical 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition reaction. One of the triple bonds between these two carbons loosens and attacks this nitrogen, breaking the triple bond between these two nitrogens, dumping an electron pair on this positively charged nitrogen, rendering it neutral. Next, this negatively charged nitrogen attacks the now positively charged carbon, forming the triazole. This all happens neatly in one step, and this is why it is a part of click chemistry. Depending on which bond loosens from which carbon will decide well, where the R group will be, forming regioisomers in solution. Since this reaction requires high temperatures and tons of heat. A catalyst is used to greatly speed up the process. The copper catalyzed azide alkyne cycloaddition. This was first reported in 2002 by two laboratories, that being the Carlsberg Laboratory and the Scripps Research Institute. Reported by Morton Medall from the Carlsberg Laboratory and Valerie Falken and K. B. Sharpless from the Scripps Research Institute. K. B. Sharpless also coined the term click chemistry in 2001, which 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition is a part of. Copper is used as a catalyst to accelerate the rate from 10 to the power of 7 to 10 to the power of 8 times faster compared to the uncatalyzed 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition. It is also one of the best click chemistry reactions. The best results were found when a mixture of copper 2 and a reducing agent were added to produce copper 1. This is the proposed mechanism for the copper catalyzed cycloaddition reaction. A copper 1 plus comes in and attacks the alkyne forming a bond like so. Next, another copper 1 plus comes in and attacks the carbon group, kicking off the hydrogen. Next, the carbon comes in and attacks the nitrogen, removing the triple bond and dumping an electron pair on the positively charged nitrogen, rendering it neutral. After that, the negatively charged nitrogen comes in and attacks and bonds to this copper right here. They also bond to the other copper, forming a complex. Next, the nitrogen bonds to this carbon right here, and this copper is kicked off. After that, hydrogen 1 plus comes in and attacks this carbon right here, kicking off the copper, forming your only triazole product. The ruthenium catalyzed azide alkyne cycloaddition. In around 2008, it was found that ruthenium was also able to catalyze a 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition. Unlike the copper catalyst in which only terminal alkynes reacted, in the ruthenium catalyst, both terminal and internal alkanes were, were able to participate in the reaction. The best results were found when the ruthenium catalyst pentamethyl cyclopentadiol ruthenium chloride was used. This is the proposed mechanism for the ruthenium catalyzed cycloaddition. The negatively charged nitrogen on the azide comes in and attacks the ruthenium, kicking off the ligand. As well, 
the Alkyne comes in and attacks the Ruthenium, kicking off another ligand. Next, the bond between the triple bond breaks and loosens and attacks this nitrogen group, which loosens and breaks the triple bond between the nitrogen groups and dumps an electron pair on the positively charged nitrogen, rendering it neutral. This carbon also attacks and bonds to the ruthenium, forming a triangle complex. Next, both complex bonds breaks. This one dumping an electron pair onto this carbon right here, and this one rebonding to this nitrogen group right here. Next, the bond between the ruthenium and the nitrogen breaks, dumping an electron pair onto positively charged nitrogen, rendering it neutral. And at the same time, both ligands reattach to the ruthenium and the product triazole is formed. Application. In, it is used in the synthesis of heterocyclic compounds such as vitamins, alkaloids, and antibiotics. One chemical it is used in is in the synthesis of tazobactam. Tazobactam is an antibiotic that stops the growth of bacteria. Pictured below is tazobactam.